Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your reading with me, Cindy. You might hear Larry purring in the background. He's literally like on the table here. Uh, I don't think you can see him in the camera though, but he's taking up most of the table, um, but he's given me enough to work with. So we are going to Cancer in this week's. So we're going to try to see um, what is your path to success here? So I'm going to look at the overall energy of the reading. I'm going to see what is the obstacle that you are facing. How is this obstacle showing up in your life? What is a hidden factor that you are unaware of and what can help you grow right now? And I'm going to do that. I'm going to start with the Energy Oracle deck and then I'm going to move into my Modern Spellcasters a tarot. Is that all good, Larry? Yeah. He's getting so flabby. He really reacts to the, um, the cooler weather here in Canada in the decreased sunlight hours and he just gets a fluffy, fluffy, thick cold. All right, Cancer. Overall energy of the reading. What is the obstacle that Cancer is facing? That's too many cards and I'm not even ready, but we have just, uh, don't let pride get in your way. A time to give rather than take, a time for healing. So don't be too proud to, uh, to get on in there, Cancer, and, you know, do your healing magic. Okay. Overall energy of the reading, obstacle Cancer is facing. How this obstacle showing up in their life? A hidden factor they are unaware of. And what can help them grow right now? It's time to take action. That's the over. Do it. Do something. It's time to take action. New moon and Aries. That's the overall energy. Was the obstacle that you are facing. The end of a tough cycle approaches. I feel like whatever obstacle you're facing is about to come to an end. So that's nice. Some sort of difficult cycle that you've been dealing with is the obstacle for you. Um... And because it's too coming up like earth energy to me, it just feels like it's, you know, something very practical in your life. It's not just so easy. It's not just about your emotions here or how you think about something. There's something probably in the physical here that needed to be like considered. So how's this showing up in your life? Nothing is yet set in stone. So there's, so that just kind of feels like too a cycle. There's a cycle here that hasn't been either fulfilled as it should or closed off or something. Something left in the air. That's how it's showing up in your life. What's a hidden factor that you're unaware of? Bring love into the situation. So love changes everything. Is that the hidden factor here? New moon in Aquarius. Well, I don't know why you're flicking your tail at me. I'll see you first. You look like grumpy. Okay. What can help cancer grow right now? Your commitment is being tested. First quarter moon. A personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in cancer. Show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. Well, that feels like it's closing off, right? Because they're full moons. So closing off some sort of trying, like, maybe there's a part of yourself that you've been showing that is part of you, but, you know, like it might only be attached to a certain circumstance or something that you're dealing with because you're starting to close that off. There's a part of you here that's, yes, absolutely you, but it feels like it could be more linked to maybe um, solving, like coming up with resolutions, um, solving problems here with family or friends. That part is coming to an end. I mean, you're getting to, this is about really taking some action here. You've got two new moons, the Aries one and the Aquarius. I don't know if you're so irritated while you're staying here. Your tail's irritating me. Like, I can feel your tension. I can feel his tension. 
Why? Is there some tension in the Cancer's energy? Maybe he is. Maybe he's protecting me. Are you doing that? Are you doing your protective works? Thank you. Thank you. Well, that doesn't mean <laughs> the whole table, Larry. It's like he just wants to spend the day being padded. Well, I know. Who doesn't? But <laughs> go work. Okay. We're going to add tarot to this to try to understand it a little bit more for cancer. The Queen of Wands. Wow, that's like total Aries energy there. The Four of Swords. The Knight of Cups. Oh, this is going in like nobody's business and healing something. But that's funny because the three um, Moonology cards that kind of came out, you know, as I was shuffling that just fell out. It was like, don't let pride get in your way. Was it to heal something? I can't remember now. I just remember the Leo card. I feel like I have your hair in my eyes, Larry. Um, obstacle that you are facing. The end of a tough cycle approaches. The magician, or the um, hanged man. It could even be kind of here, like right when a, a tough cycle. Because even what I was saying here, it's like if you're closing this off, showing the world the real you, there's a, it's a part of you that has been involved perhaps in a tough cycle. So now it's being able to kind of turn that off and show another part of yourself that is maybe, you know, you wouldn't, that, that would be associated outside of a difficult cycle. The Page of Swords, the end, oh, wow. This is like manifesting on standby and watching. Trying to make things happen or hoping to see things happen when you can't get involved even. That's what this looks like. That's the tough cycle here. Trying to see how you can get some things to happen even though all you can really be is an observer. It's showing up in your life. Nothing is yet set in stone. The Eight of Wands. The Strength card. And the World. But that seems set in stone because the World card is there. Oh, what are you doing here? That's really odd. Nothing, how is this showing up in your life? Nothing is yet set in stone. Or there's a particular portion of your life here that's not set in stone. But with the world, that is set in stone. It's that part of the, the um, achieve. It's to get something set in stone here. It's like holding back movement. But that, okay, so that part makes sense to me. It's holding back movement. And the obstacle, like it's associated to the obstacle, right? Like how is this obstacle showing up in your life? that you hold holding back your movement it's it's closing that off being able to close that off because the obstacle to me looks like and you trying to get something to happen even though it's almost like you really can't all you can do is observe you're just an observer you're just like part of the audience you're just standing by here a watching with the hanged man and the page of swords you're very limited in terms of your interaction with something and if that's the difficult cycle, the hidden factor you're unaware of is bring love into the situation. This is the new moon in Aquarius. Show the world the real you is closing that off. What, what, what is this? The four of wands, the six of wands, the five of pentacles, I want to 
understand the show because I feel like these two Aquarian cards are connected to a cycle here. And this is a cycle where it looks like, oh, this is great, but then it's not. And maybe there needed to be like more love invested in that in cycle, that cycle. What can help you grow right now is your commitment is being tested. So this is like persevering. Two of Pentacles. Oh, the Nine of Wands. And judgment. It's like knowing that the light is at the end of this tunnel. There might be um, a little bit for you to manage here, like with the Two of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. But you're, this is like, I want to say... It's a temporary, like it's temporary with judgment. The three of swords is at the bottom. But I want to understand the show the world the real you. I want, I really, I want to put these out. These out. The, um, a personal issue, which is resolution, full moon and cancer. So that's closed off. It, it feels like it could be a family thing, being in the fourth house too. <laughs> <clears throat> and show the world the real you. Six of Pentacles. Wow, justice. And the tower. I don't know. Is this like a divorce? Is this splitting up assets? Is this Larry's tail getting really upset? Is this a... <laughs> Feel the energy come off that tail. There's something in this reading that's really irritating him. He's... I feel like he's been placed right here. I don't know if there's an energy that you've been dealing with that's um, not good. Or there's someone coming into this reading whose energy is not good. Either it's directed to me because I'm reading it or it's just like directly or indirectly, like something going on here. Cause he is spread as like, he's not moving. And he's just laying right here and he's not moving. And he's, there's something going on. There's really no reason for his tail to be this upset. Okay. Show the world the real you. The fool, the letter is Aquarius. The Hierophant. And the Nine of Pentacles. All right. You go. Um, this looks to me like there's something here where you've been through uh i would call it hi honey <laughs> touching my arm um i think it's like being described to me as a division of assets here and breaking down a foundation that has to do with home Okay, so that's closed off. That issue reaches a resolution. And then show the world the real you. To go from the Hierophant to the Nine of Pentacles with a fresh start with the Fool. I mean, that's someone going from being in a committed relationship to being single and available. So if this is something that you've been trying to show or trying to achieve this, that... This is you. You are really actually no available. You are really available. You are not in this commitment. Okay, so now bring love into the situation. Now there was no love there. There's no love there that I'm seeing in that underlying. Because I'm going back to this Aquarius because this is starting a new cycle. I feel like, oh, maybe that's also connected to the end of this tough cycle. It's like you, you, you're just observing, or maybe people are observing you, but there's a part of yourself here that you haven't shown. And it's, you know, it's kind of funny. Like it, it does look like someone who is in a relationship or was, but then 
you're not and to let people know this so i'm wondering if this could have even been something that was kind of closed door if it was just too painful you know to have out in the open or um you didn't want people talking about it or you were still trying to deal with stuff going on in this this breakdown of this relationship that you know you weren't feeling comfortable to come out and show the world that I'm no, I'm actually single now. Like that's that's how I describe it. And it's time to take action. Um this is about healing your sense of who you are and like the value of your heart it has every right to move forward healing your heart space healing your confidence healing your own personal drive here I, this this part the nothing is set in stone is the oh yeah you're so in terms of okay because right like you want to leave this reading with what is the advice here right because what can help you grow is your commitment is being tested so the two pentacles and the nine of wands it's kind of like there's still something you need to juggle a little bit here um i'm going to clarify it it's hopefully like the ten of wands or something doesn't come out it doesn't feel like too difficult um it could be juggling these two parts of yourself or it could be juggling, um, I'm almost wondering if this is someone moving out of a matrimonial home and also at the same time like setting themselves up somewhere else. And it's like juggling the two aspects of that. It could be just juggling home and work. But you know, it's the nine of wands. So it feels like you've been doing it for a little while. You've, you've done this for a bit, but judgment is there. It's like, you're so close to the end. This is not a time right now to just kind of like, I can't do like, don't, you know, you see people, they're so close to the finish line in a marathon. It's like, just two more steps, dude, just roll, just roll. What are you going to do? Oh, the Empress, the lovers. That's an interesting underlying. But being an underlying, well, that was an underlying. Yes. I feel like someone's gone here from... Being in a committed relationship to not. And it's you feeling like good or balanced. You're balancing something. I mean, sorry. But Larry is definitely um, working on energy. He's such a cool cat about it. This dude could not be more handsome. Could you? I don't think so. He's so handsome. I had read a few years ago, well, maybe it wasn't a few years ago, I don't know when it was. I had read that male cats, like domesticated cats, um, it's probably true for most of the feline, um, they tend to have a broader faces, like broader, kind of bigger faces. I guess especially if they were fixed, um, you know, after they kind of became full grown. And he has that. He's very handsome. Like for all of his fluffiness, he has such a, I find, such a handsome masculine face. But then my friend, my best friend, my Pisces friend, she has a female cat. She has a tiny little face. I'm like, it's true. They do. Male cats have a very... Yeah. Hey, baby. Okay. It's time to take action. Actually, I'm not going there yet. Okay, Larry. We're... I need to move this... Oh boy. Oh, I took a different deck. It's interesting I took that. Okay, just bear with me here. What do they say? Don't ever work with kids and pets. Animals. Johnny Carson learned that one. All right. Bring love into the situation. This is the hidden factor. I want to know because that's connected to show the world the real you. Bring love into the situation. The lovers, oh my God, and the Ten of Pentacles. You got a lot to offer, baby. This is the hidden factor. You bring the love. You literally bring the love where there isn't love. 
Don't, it's almost like you're not, you don't know that. Maybe you don't. I don't know. I mean, with this, with this energy here, maybe there, you know, something could have happened. I'm literally, definitely, 100%, this underlying is looking at someone who divided up assets, went through something legal, has to do with personal issues, cancer, where do we feel safe? It's our home life sort of stuff. And then going from the Hierophant to the Nine of Pentacles with a fresh start and not taking much with you is someone who is leaving a relationship, a marriage, and the Nine of Pentacles into the night is like now single. So I don't know. Maybe there's something you feel like, like you don't have much to give. Maybe, I don't know. But you do. You bring the love. You bring the love. That's the thing that you don't see. You bring the love, Cancer. But it's just like you have to... So I don't know if you're going to meet somebody or you're going to connect with um, a beautiful friend group or friend or something like that. But it's almost like I feel like you're doing it in an energy that's new to you. And to not look back at what you thought you had to offer based on the type of person you were then but to see who, what you have now. Because you have a new beginning coming. Your commitment is being tested. The Knight of Swords. So you might really want to charge forward here. Um, you might be feeling a little bit edgy in terms of wanting to move quickly because this tough cycle is almost over. Actually, if anything, I'm going to say you're sort of the person who's really wanting to push at the end of the finish line in the marathon with that Knight of Swords. But it's like you can't because if you do, you're going to get a cramp and you won't make it over, right? Like you have to pace yourself with this Two of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. The Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles. The two of pentacles, if we get nothing, I'm going to move on. Two of pentacles. It's just you're, jug you're managing a couple of different areas of your life here. Okay, the nine of wands, though. This has felt like, okay, there we go. The hierophant. Oh, my God. Are you married? What, I'm, what? <laughs> Juggling two different parts of your life. I can't help but feel like there's like a group of people that know that you're divorced and a group of people that think you're married. I feel like you're very dual here. Yeah, that's 100%. Like, show the world the real you. Which one are you? Are you the married one? Or are you the single one? What? Judgment. Or you've been trying to get through this. Maybe. Because show the world the real you. That's the part that I'm like, well. The sun. Oh. It's going to be good. When you do get this beginning, it's going to be great. It's going to feel wonderful. His energy has really changed. There was something like something anxious at the beginning here in this energy. Maybe um, if someone was doing a little bit of evil eye shit, Larry, did you win over on that one, buddy? Yeah, see, he has Egyptian magical powers. You can't fuck with me, <laughs> right? Thank you, my honey. Yeah, just a good boy. Okay, um, your, your new beginning is going to be great. And maybe you're kind of feeling it uh, because you do feel a little bit impulsive here. Just hold tight, baby. <laughs> hold tight because the end of a tough cycle is approaching. Ooh. The Ten of Cups and the Devil. This is a... This is not a healthy family that's not a healthy family right there's manipulation there's coercion oh and i'm just like the way the devil has got his hands kind of like over the kids it's almost like um geez it's like using the kids for a negotiation tactic Yeah, it's like using the kids as a negotiation tactic. 
That would be a tough cycle. Magician. The moon. Yeah, see, you working in the darkness here. Working through fears, even manifesting through fear because you're in a fear-based situation. The hanged man. The eight of pentacles. This is, okay, the page of swords. The four of pentacles. I'm not surprised. I wanted to say, like, this tough cycle, this obstacle, it's, this obstacle is going to be coming to an end. And this does look tough because this is like, you got to walk on eggshells through this one. I really feel like I'm looking at, like, on, like, a divorce, a division of assets, um, but there's also children, like children involved and children being sort of used in negotiating tactics. Nothing is yet set in stone. So it's not the, the blessings, the blessing part. It's how it's showing up in your life. When did the blessings come in? The Eight of Wands. The Four of Wands. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's the Hidden Factor. The Strength card. Frick me. The Eight of Wands. The Four of Swords. Okay, it's healing this movement. The ability to move the world. The seven of wands. It's, wow, not being defensive anymore. Not being um, on guard. Okay, there's something, I, I don't know. Maybe there's like some final documents that have to be signed. Judges have to sign shit and stuff, right? I don't know. I really feel like I'm looking at like a divorce and a division of assets. And that tough cycle is almost at an end here for you. The Four of Wands. The Eight of Swords. See, that's... It's like the thing that you can't really see, but the Six of Wands, it's like you... Change of... Okay, 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 I get it, I get it, I get it. There's something going on here where I feel like there was um, a relationship, like a whole family unit that was built up here. Um, the, but it wasn't built on the foundation of love. It wasn't built on the foundation of love. This relationship has broken down. That's what I'm seeing here. This relationship is broken down. There's maybe even a part of you that was lost in this relationship and who you really are were was not seen. You've been struggling for that part of you to be seen. Um, the, 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 the difficulty in this cycle, which as I've described, I want to say it's like splitting up assets. Um, what is justice and tower? You get, oh, it landed in Larry's bum. Oh, the four of cups. Feeling a little bit disillusioned. Okay. Um, yeah, and you've had to walk on eggshells. You've had to walk on eggshells. I do feel like there was also something going on here with children being like a negotiating tactic or tool. Um, it's not set in stone yet. So I, that makes me feel like there's signatures. So you still have to be kind of guarded because it's not the world yet. It's not finalized and closed. But boy, you, you want, I want to say maybe even get on with your life. Like, so I don't know how long this has been going on. But the energy is it's time to take action. And when it is time to take action, it's healing your love. It's healing love and bringing love. Like building something new. You're going to be building something new again. I feel like it isn't like a family unit of some sort. But this is built on love. And this is like with your divine soulmate. Like this is, this is with the person that the universe would choose for you. Because you and the universe and this person are all like interrelated and you've been here, done that before. 
boy whoa that was like empress again empress and queen of pentacles this was lovers and oh lovers and queen of pentacles no lovers and empress queen of pentacles and empress do you see how it's different this is like the empress of the practical like it could have been a marriage through oh this is the right person at the right time let's do this where this is this is like probably your person or who you become depending on what you resonate with but through divine partnership wow that was a mouthful but we found it i figured it out i don't know people do readings without clarifiers all right maybe they're better than i am so but so i'm gonna go do the extended in the extended we're gonna go into the return of spirit oracle deck we are going to um words of encouragement for you through this and then i'm going to use the energy oracle deck in the tarot i'm going to ask excuse me what is the universe trying to guide you towards why what is the lesson in this and your next steps moving forward and larry has totally calmed down he's totally calmed down he i think he was picking up the energy of this this tough cycle i think he was he's done a good job he transmuted it he's an alchemizer are you an alchemist thank you so much cancer until next time be gentle with yourselves bye